G'day guys, Ron here from Osborne Digital Marketing. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a HTML sitemap utilizing Rank Math and actually doing it completely custom without any plugins. I'm gonna show you the two options. You've got the paid and fast option or the slow and custom option. Let's dive into it. So as you can see behind me, this is my uh, business coaching and consulting site. You can see this is all laid out. It's pretty like it's done stock standard this is the generic site html site map created by rank math okay so the rank math plugin you have the free option and you have the paid option of the rank math plugin now the paid option obviously 60 bucks a year you might not want to pay that however i normally pay that whenever we are working with the client because <laughs> To create one of these behemoths on a big site, it's quite time consuming. But I'm going to show you, if you don't want to pay for it, how to do it all custom. Literally how to create the page, build it all in and go from there. It's very easy to do. It's just time consuming. So it depends on whether you want to spend time on it or not. So in Rank Math, let me give you a rundown of how it looks. All you would do is you'd come into your plugin. Let's say you make the purchase. You have it, as you can see, I have it on my site. You would just hit the sitemap settings, HTML, click on that bad boy there. And then as you can see here, it here it is. So you can essentially do the short code, which is you'll copy this and paste this on a page. So you always need to create a new page. You can set it by alphabetical, publish date, modified date, post ID, all this fancy jazz. Okay, you can show the dates on there if you want, if you want it to be item titles or SEO titles. So dependent upon what it is. So like as an example, there will be some things that change. So you can see all of this. This is the stock standard just title of the page, so the H1. And then if we change that to SEO titles, that would change how that's all laid out. Essentially, you can tell it to show the posts, the pages. You can have it throw, show you the oxygen templates, all this crazy stuff. Whatever you want in a HTML sitemap, it can be shown. Now, if you're going to utilize this method, let me just run through it quickly. Then we will start from scratch, a complete custom, complete custom HTML sitemap. So what you would want to do is come back up to your pages. All right, so let's leave here. Let me get rid of this, guys. Anything linked to Rank Math, anything I talk about today, it'll be, it'll be down uh, in the comments, stock standard as usual. So I believe, let's try and find this page, HTML. So what you would need to do is just create a stock standard page, okay? So create a page, a WordPress page, and then what you're going to see here is that I've pasted in that short code that I showed you before previously, right here onto this page, okay? So you paste that on, you go away and Butter bing, butter boom, here it is. Something stock standard. This is great because it's easy for you to send links in. This is easy for someone to navigate around in. However, as you can see, it's not very unique. And that's where the custom one comes in. Like I said, the only downfall of a custom uh, HTML sitemap is that it takes your time. But let me show you how to do that. So this is Asbestos Awareness Australia. Now this charity that we work with, it, it's a completely free thing. It's a, a, it's a charity in Australia to help individuals that are impacted by asbestosis and about bringing awareness to that. So this is a, a great cause. Highly recommend if you can uh, jump along there, check it out, share it around to your friends and family, but also if possible, please try and make a donation. So with Asbestos Awareness Australia, there's no HTML sitemap right now. And we're not, we haven't got the paid plugin. So what do we do? We create a custom one. So let's do that right now. So you want to be on pages. Okay. First thing you want to do is add a new page. Now, dependent upon your page builder, will determine how you structure it, how you lay everything out. That's up to you. How it is. This is just oxygen. I utilize oxygen because it's no nonsense. It's fast. It's clean code. No nesting happens with this. But you might use something else like Elemental. But it's very, very similar. So I'll show you how to do it and, and the first few steps on what you'll need to do. So let's call it uh, HTML. 
sitemap whoa complex <laughs> so we want to publish this so once we publish it we'll be able to edit it in oxygen okay so like i said this is going to be very very similar to whatever thing that you have out there whether it be a your elementor could be uh you you know beaver builder wh whatever it is whatever builder you have out there there's so many of them every single different client i have now has this weird and like there was this really strange one i'd never heard of it was from it's like eight and a half years old and i'd never heard of it before so there's a lot of them out there so while we're waiting for this there are a couple of free generators that you can utilize so my sitemap generator and this one here i've had a look at both of these however i don't utilize them to be honest if i'm going to do custom i'm going to take the time i do it the right way okay i don't utilize this stuff because sometimes these links do expire and they're actually elsewhere so you can download it because it'll have all the files for you then you can upload it and play around but to be completely honest I think if you're going to do it custom, do it custom. Do it the right way. Don't involve a third party if you don't need to. You either involve the third party, use rank math, or you do it custom. It's that simple. That's my personal preference, but you can utilize these free tools and, and that'll spit something off. So it's not too bad there. But what you want to do, so this is how you would approach it. You're going to utilize something like Screaming Frog. That's the first step. Okay, you'll throw your domain the root of the domain into uh into screaming frog now it is an seo tool as you can see here scrapes everything on your site now it's going to pull out a lot of stuff and it's going to look like this now you'll need to click on the url tab now ultimately you can come over here to the ca canonical link so essentially this is more so where there's not as much noise so as you can see there's all of these extra urls where there's a lot of noise it's a it's a lot of extra stuff like logo as an example well, i don't want to create the sitemap for the logo you can put your logo in your sitemap if you want but why so if you start on the canonical side over here this is pretty much just your pages okay and the other thing with it being custom if we come back to my one here it's got to be the title of the page of the post maybe you don't want that maybe you want it to be a little bit more unique you want it to be broken up and structured like i'm trying something with this and you can see the strong looks gross where with custom i can eliminate that instead of it being how to find an independent uh, sales rep find an independent sales rep now and that's a link across to that page so you've got to remember that html sitemap serves two purposes you can send backlinks into it and it's for a user to read when they don't want to go looking through all of my site. That's something to consider. So we've scraped that as an example. Here's the results. Now let's have a look at this. So for, again, this is oxygen, guys. Big, big bit of awareness. Uh, this is oxygen. So I'm adding in everything here. Let's start to do it. I'm going to show you exactly what I would do to build a site map. So let's have a look. This HTML sitemap. Okay, so HTML sitemap. Beautiful. Looks great. Wonderful. So let's just get right underneath. Let's add another heading. So I'm only going to show you a couple examples. Um, and then you'll get the picture. So I like to do a heading and then I'm going to do something along the lines because it's more more so this is about informing individuals about the dangers of asbestos and actual cases created around the harms and everything of asbestos. So let's maybe just be like, because again, this is uh, dangers of asbestos. Okay, so anything now, like it doesn't need to be structured in exactly the same way uh, let's make this a h2 so it doesn't need to be structured in exactly the same way as the stuff before so okay we've got that beautiful next stage let's start to add the links so what we can do again uh where's link text uh, link text there we go so now i want to create a couple of these okay 
So first, let's have a look. So what we want to do is we want to go, what are the societal harms of asbestos? So, okay, this is excellent. So we'll grab that, we'll come over here. Okay. Computer's just lagging a moment. Arms of asbestos. Societal harms of asbestos. Okay. And now I'll set this link to bang, set. Okay. Societal harms of asbestos at the link. Done. So now if we look down in the bottom corner when the props up with the bread comes, any time today would be nice. There we go. It says that it'll link off to the societal harms of asbestos. So we can build this out. This is how you can build a custom uh, site map. So same thing, like let's just say, let, let's do another one. Societal harms, um, let's, uh, lives lost due to asbestos. Let's grab that uh, research paper. Let's throw this one in here. Like I said, with custom, you can do whatever you want. And I was lost to asbestos. Okay, and then same thing, bang, done. You can move on to the next one. Just keep, keep going. Yeah, that's registered that. I think oxygen was just a little bit laggy. Uh, scientific facts about asbestos. Okay, so as you can start to see, I'm pulling everything in together. So let's paste that in there. the data behind asbestos and the risks. So I've made that a little bit more unique. I've made that quite enticing to click on. And that's the power of creating a custom HTML sitemap. Now, what I would suggest is when you are doing the custom, just do that approach, like I said, throw your domain into uh, Screaming Frog, scrape that data, Look at the can canonical column. That's generally what I find is actually better because you like, look at this, have fun filtering through this. <laughs> it's it's going to be annoying, you know? And as you can see, it's like takes one minute and you've got to group it all up. But how much more unique is this when you compare that to my generic sitemap created by the plugin? So you've got two options. That's all you have. It's just two options. You can do it with custom or you can do it with some other form of plugin third party. I like personally creating custom ones when I'm working on client stuff because I build them for that. But if they're not happy to pay, you know, for someone a tech to sit down for two hours and do that, well, then it's going to cost them $60 a year for the rank math. So, and, and maybe some clients think this is a little bit ugly where, I can make this, I can add in some images, I can add in a video, I can make it all a little bit crazy. You know, I can make it more appealing, especially if I'm going to add a link down here, it'll link off to the HTML sitemap. So these are all things to think of when you are looking and trying to figure out how to create a HTML sitemap. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you around. Cheers.